This is the first video in the Roxim Pro Help series. Roxim Pro shares a lot of the features of Roxim, the regular version. You can tell which one is Roxim Pro by looking up here at the status bar. This is Roxim Pro. If I say Roxim during this series, please excuse me, I am talking about Roxim Pro here. When you first start Roxim Pro, you will get a screen that looks like this. It will be blank. Up here you have your design windows and your flight simulation. All that data will be up here at the top. And at the bottom you will have the view window where the rocket image will be displayed. And to get started, let's go ahead and click on the open button up here and open up an existing design. And you will find these designs in the designs folder inside the Roxim Pro folder. And I'm going to open up the Estes Alpha because it's a fairly common model rocket. And we'll just click on open. As you can see, now the rocket is displayed down here at the bottom. Uh, one of the things I want to show you right off the bat is you can make this image bigger. Um, just as you move the cursor up and down on the main screen here, you'll see as it gets to the middle that the cursor changes and you can grab that cursor and you can move it down and you can move it up and it will stop about two-thirds of the way to the top of the screen. If you grab it again and drag it all the way, it will jump all the way to the top and your rocket image fits the whole screen. Now you can also use your mouse and if you have a three-button mouse just right-click on the image and it will bring up a context menu and you can select zoom in and now we have a larger image and just uh, left click and hold and drag and you can drag this image around and you can see different parts of the rocket and you if you right click again it'll bring up the context menu again and just zoom in and you can keep zooming in until you get the level of detail you want and you bring it up again you can zoom back to the original and now we have our original screen here and I'm just going to grab that divider bar again. As you can see it's it's kind of invisible but if you move your cursor up and down you'll find it and just right click on or left click on it and drag. And we're back to our original screen. Now to run a simulation we'll go up here. These are our menu buttons and we're going to go here prepare for launch. And when you do this it will bring up the simulation properties screen and the first thing you'll want to do is choose an engine and what it, Roxim Pro does is it draws the back view of the rocket and it highlights the engine mount and so we'll choose an engine and I'm going to want you to watch that image there that image there I want you to watch that as we choose an engine I uh, stretch my window here too much, so I'm going to come back. Okay, I'm just going to select the Estes C6 engine, and we're going to select a delay of five seconds, and click OK. So now, before it was white, now it's colored. That means an engine has been loaded in the rocket. And uh, let me move this window out of the way and go back to the main screen. And you can see now we have an engine loaded. The center of gravity that used to be up here has now shifted back here. This is our center of gravity icon. This over here is our center of pressure icon. As long as the center of gravity is in front of the center of pressure, you will have a stable rocket, and it will display the stability of the rocket in this area here. Let's go back to our simulation property screen. I'll bring that back over here. Flight events controls when the recovery device in the rocket is deployed. And for now, I'm just going to select deploy at maximum ejection delay. This is for model rockets. These other ones here, and we'll go the, through these later, show you different ways to deploy the recovery device in the rocket. Starting state controls the launch of the rocket, and right now we're pointing straight up. And our simulation controls, just for right now, just leave this alone. When you first start Roxim, everything is in default conditions. Uh, the launch conditions show our current launch site. We're at uh, an altitude of zero at sea level. 
Um, the landing zone is also going to be at sea level, and the latitude and longitude are at zero degrees north and west. Right now we have zero wind, nothing in the wind table, and we have uncertainties of 10. And for your first simulation, just go ahead and turn that to a zero. So I set that at zero, and then let's go ahead and launch. And Roxim Pro will run the simulation, and it will highlight the new simulation here under the Flight Simulations tab on the main screen. And as you can see that this rocket with this C-65 engine went 1,292 feet. So that's basically your first simulation and, and at this point I want you to go ahead and click on the save icon and this is going to save the design back into the database so that we can look at it again later. And we'll see you in the next video.